All right, everybody, welcome, welcome. We are trying out some new demos today. And the one that we're looking at right now is called Cryptical Path. From what I can tell, it is a roguelite that is mixed with a dungeon builder. So there's some elements here where you'll somehow get parts to build the dungeon and you kind of lay it out, then go through it, I think. Uh, it looks really, really interesting. I haven't read too much into it as I usually do because I just want all the surprises to come to me as I'm trying it out for the first time. So let's take a look. So we got Cryptical Path here. I'm super excited. Let's go. They suggested playing with the controller, so that's what I'm doing. Looks cool. Wait, what am I doing here? Okay. Oh, cool! So I guess the gameplay is maybe a little bit like Dead Cells-ish. A is X on the <laughs> controller for PS4, right? I'm assuming so. Yep, there we go. We did it, everybody. How do I dash? There's the dash. What's all this racket? I'm sorry, did I make you mad? Open up the map. Are you seriously smashing my lovely control pots? And you dare to copy me? Oh, I get it. I'm in the Hexium. That's why that thing is here too. I'm called the Architect, I love it. The Doppelganger. Wait, what? A thing? I'm not gonna... I'm gonna make you kneel before me, you roach architect vermin. How mean. Oh, generally speaking, we all end up kneeling for somebody. <laughs> it's a matter of perspective. Right. Shut up. I'm gonna crush you. That's not enough room for... There's not enough room for both of us here. The Hexium is reacting so oddly with that thing. Hmm. Anyway, I've recovered some control. It'd be enough to place a room. Cool. Hexium map has been unlocked, and I can open that up with the... I don't know even know what it's called. The big control button in the middle of the controller thing. Um... Welcome to the Hexium map. Gain control by killing all the enemies in a room. Okay, so you just have to clear a room to place the next room in the map, basically. Then spend it to build your path in the Hexium by building rooms of your choice on the map. I wonder if, like, you do better and you get more control or what have you. Uh, maybe that is a factor here. So they want me to just press A on here. And what is this thing that I'm building, though? I'm not sure if they told me or not, but... I'm just gonna follow their instructions. So yeah, there's a, you have to build it. You can zoom in, you can zoom out. You can do player view with this one. Uh, okay. <laughs> player view. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons because they're not showing me X or they're showing me Xbox ones. Okay, I think I can figure it out. We got it. So we just built a platform training room. I think it was called. I should move my face perhaps hold on just as I thought it's like riding a bike you never forget I will tell you guys what I meant by the description here all the controls are pretty familiar if you've ever played uh, any 2d side-scrolling like platform fighter or, or games like Dead Cells if you're in the roguelite genre type of thing it's very very much the same Totally missed the dummy there. If I remember correctly, clearing a room of any intrusion will, will grant me fresh control. Sure did. All right, so. Hey, there's this treasure box over here that was already laid. Right mouse button. Or the right shoulder button. Pick a bonus item, monkey hand. If a death occurs, the architect is revived. So you get one revival, cool. Mm-hmm, it seems like a non-life flux has been interrupted. That's funny. Is there anything down here I need to look at? Can I break you? No? So yeah, any like kind of Metroidvania has really the same type of build here. So I already used my platform training. I wonder if you have to do a little bit of deck building to get the rooms that you're able to build or if they're always just available to you. And in the bottom right hand corner here, there are the descriptions of that room that I'm, I'm placing. So uh, I'll be sure to read that off to you guys. So this is dash training, and then there's fight training. Let's do some dash training, why not? Costs three control. We can go ahead and build another one from the looks of it. So I'll do the fighting control after that. The limit of control, even with 
low or zero control, you can still place rooms. Ah, but beware, this could expose you to various curses. So there's a the gauge there where you go into like, it's almost like a good and evil bar, I guess. But um, in this case, it's like normal control versus curses, I guess. Curse control, maybe they'll call it. We'll see. I'm definitely willing to dive into it to see what happens a little bit into the red. Attacks dodge with with dash. I will definitely try my best. Hello, sir. Did I dodge it? I did not. That was a little bit sketchy in terms of the timing, but... Can I see that again? I actually want to see how I can really tell when he's just about to release the attack. But that's okay. Let's just keep going. Enemies killed. Zero out of three. Okay, so we can break platforms. Oh, the, we can do a smash. That's cool. And then we can do a aerial attack. Can't do that yet. So one aerial attack. We can't keep going up. You start doing your combo after the first. So it's almost like the the B up save for Smash Bros. If you know what I mean. Can I go through here? I can't. Oh, I have to hit Y. Okay. So I have a range attack with Y. Interesting. Trying to remember if that's the same as Spirit Fall right now. I don't think it is. I think Spirit Fall, the range attack is circle on this controller, which hopefully won't confuse me because I'm still playing both of them. All right. So we have, what is this one? A treasure room or something? Of course I'm going to break this. That's a lot of control. Soon the control of the Hexium will be mine again. Everything is going as planned. Ridiculous solution. I am no longer in your possession. Okay, that's cool. I have new rooms, I guess. The map is also just letting me build wherever. Your own way. Switch from the map view to the rooms section. In order to see, set your tactic, then place them wherever you want. Switch. Okay. Each room is different and has its own control cost. It's up to you now. All right, let's dive into the red. We have 15 control right now. So they're saying I can like see what's going on. Like, can I actually see what the room looks like? That's what I was thinking they were saying, but maybe not. Here's an arena room. It contains enemies from the Hexium. Uh-huh. Oh, what they're saying is basically just like, look at the pathing and build rooms towards them. So this is a treasure room. I obviously want that. Arena room. This is a boss room. There's an arena item room. I want both, to be honest. So we can definitely do that. This is a healing room. We don't need that yet. Let's go for double arena room. And then let's go with... Oh, wait. I'm not going to have enough, am I? Circle. So I have to do one of these long ones. Cool. Oops, not done yet. And then I have to... Maybe I'll go with the healing room at this point. I still have two control. Should I just build random stuff so I can go into the red? Maybe I shouldn't explore that just yet. <laughs> All right, so let's go upwards. You know what? I'm really enjoying this game so far. Looks pretty great. Like it's very polished. Um, it, it's, um, it doesn't have a bunch of rough edges with like the translation of content or the way things are designed. I've been playing a lot of demos lately where we're really seeing, um, I, I know it's all early stages and it's all dependent on that too. So I don't want to say too much here, but there's a lot of demos where, um, we see a lot of those rough edges and it just doesn't give me the confidence that I, I want to have in a game once we start playing the demo, but this one is building that confidence with me. I, I think it looks great, it plays great, it's very smooth, and so far the mechanics of the um, building the Hexium map, I do enjoy what they've given us so far. We'll see what the red stuff is for the curses and stuff. I think that could add even some cooler things. But hopefully, you know, high risk, high reward is the mechanic that they're trying to add there or the flavor that they're trying to add there. Um, I always love when they have that make your own choices, high risk, high reward type of gameplay included in there. Um, yeah, games even like Crab Champions, 
um, Magic Craft, stuff like that. I, I feel like those games even have that element of high risk, high reward, and it always makes it more interesting. This is a demo, yes, a Nico, hello, and yes, this is a demo. Looks pretty good for a demo, huh? <laughs> I hope that's how, what you're feeling, because that's how I'm feeling. So Thunderstorm, your attacks have a chance to generate Electric Arc. Amazing. Nettle Bouquet, your spell now briefly stuns the enemies. I'd rather do the Thunderstone, absolutely. That is an awesome pickup from the sounds of it. So let's start doing some Thunder. Oh, new enemy. Little slime guy. I would love to see... Oh, I'm pressing the buttons from Spiritfall. Spiritfall also has a huge amount of high risk, high reward um, gameplay as well. So I have... Am I collecting control? I'm starting to collect it again. Um, so if you really wanted to, you could like build yourself a healing room right here and just start healing. That's so interesting. Like I... There's no room that exists right now, but I could put one and just like jump into that real quick, heal, and then keep moving on. I'm liking the things that are possible in this game so far. Yeah, that's really cool. And then, of course, like, if you're doing it too much, you go into the curse section of your control meter. So, yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see. I'm not going to force myself into it, but I'm sure I'm going to start dying and need to do a bunch of placements of rooms and get into that red level, perhaps. Uh, how do I do this? It's in here? Cool. Music? Music check? Very Zelda-esque, I would say. Very Zelda-esque. Okay, so let's see. Is this a... Th that's an enemy. I thought it was maybe a fixture that I can break. What's up, dude? Oh, we saw the little arc there. It wasn't so impressive, but at least it's something. Maybe we can level it up and it's more extravagant, you know? So I saw the treasure box down here, I think. It is Shroom's Tea. <laughs> we get more of the spell charge. Interesting. Or a, more of a max heart. You know what? I'll take the spell charge. I haven't been using it, but I can. Can I shoot it upwards? I cannot. So I'm wondering if I can shoot it, like aim it upwards and just go like straight up. Yes, fairy fountain feeling. I agree. Enemies, one. Oh, I forgot. This was the boss thing. Oh, it's a dummy. The dummy's the boss. Oh, classic. Wow. You know what? I should be using my range attack more often. Thing didn't even attack me. I thought he was going to attack me at least. It wasn't supposed to end this way. You sent a training dummy after me to kill me? You're cheating. Damn, that dummy was really um, strong, I guess. See, you know, I'm getting along with the main character here. The architect is amazing. How could I not like this demo? Really loving it, everybody. Um, you've improved since last time, I must say. Enough. It's that macaque? What is that word? Macaque? I don't know. Monkey hand that does all the work for you. What happens if I take it away from you, huh? Very true. My monkey paw has been stolen, and you took the opportunity to steal other things from me. You're such a sneaky one, aren't you? I did get another monkey paw relic, though. This isn't over. I'm sending you to a much worse place. Oh, wait. Did he take away my revi revival? Because the monkey hand was a revival. I guess he did take it away. Oh, Bernardo, you're here too? <laughs> Do you see this guy? Oh, my God. Look at him hold that thing. Okay. Yes, but it seems it's a very strange person rebelled and has seized most of his, our collections. Therefore, your guests have been gruesomely transmorgified. Huh. Guess? Oh, right. Got it. The prisoners. Yes, I know about... The anyways, so I'm talking about Lady Ovenwo Master. I have concerns about her fate. She might have been turned into a dresser or even worse, a coffee grinder. <laughs> coffee grinder seems worse than a dresser. You have to work a lot harder than the dresser, perhaps. <laughs> or maybe not. The dresser is always holding things in it. Coffee just needs to like spin around and cut coffee beans all the time. Why am I even thinking about this? Who cares? Let's move on. Well, it would be peculiar. So is that my my GF? Lady Oven whatever? Let's open the Hexia map. So we need to start building stuff. Hey, we got a shop room. How much money do I have? 138. I don't know if that's a lot or not. Wow, look at this map, everybody. You shall not pass on the rocks. <laughs> 
you shall not pass is literally the description on the rocks room. Okay, so what do I want to move towards? Elite room, you'll get some control for it. I want all these treasure chests. You know I'm greedy. So we're going to go for a straight shot up here with the first treasure chest and get the hell out of here. This is so great so far. <laughs> I'm excited to like just build the rooms and explore the map because like that replaces the need to like run around and make sure you're reaching every corner of the map in your more like adventure RPG type of layout for games. This is like, this is blending that type of exploration with just like your regular go from room to room type of roguelite, like a Binding of Isaac, you know, you're going from room to room type of thing. Uh, any dungeon crawler like Spell Disc or um, Magicraft as well has that type of layout where you're just going to the next room, next room, clear the room, clear the room. So yeah, it's a it's it's somewhere in between that with those two those two elements. So let's open the chest. We have hot sauce. Your dash triggers a small explosion, dealing damage to enemies. So cool. So we're seeing some items that you would always see in in a roguelite type of game. The same type of power ups. Your dash do X. Um, you get more charges of X. Your X is Y stronger kind of thing or empowered with Y. But uh, I love it. When achieving max health, get one additional control by clearing a hostile room. I'd rather have hot sauce, dude. Put that Frank's Red on my freaking chicken. Uh, I think it's okay. I was hoping it would be at the end of the dash, actually. So if I go back over here and just want to travel somewhere, I think I could. There is a free shop in here. I might check that out. You know what, let's go ahead and just clear this arena room and I'm going to attach another arena room so that I can travel to this thing. Uh, okay, so let's go. So yeah, I think the, the if I can make the comparison to Dead Cells again, I think the map acceleration is a little bit more rigid than um, Dead Cells perhaps a little bit in some ways actually both of them are a little bit rigid but this one is more like the things on the screen aren't changing um, and randomly generated from a pattern of, of biomes or whatever you're creating the pathing for yourself um, but the rooms are just like you know boxes of enemies and that's what I mean by rigid. It's just like a box of enemies, but it's still good. That's what we're asking for, for roguelites, right? We just want to keep fighting and we want to die again and try again. So you don't need much else than, you know, treasure rooms, enemy rooms, just things in boxes. Okay, let's go. Shoot some of this. My projectile explodes? It's not ready. I want to shoot him so I can see. Yeah, I think it does have AoE explosion. That's cool. Uh, I'm gonna go from the... What does this thing do? Should I be scared of this? Huh, it doesn't do anything. Or maybe there's a way to set it off. Uh, I have to open the Hexium if I want to go down there. Oops. Break this. Let's go to the left. Furnace. Shoot him with a couple of those. Oh, he's a summoner. He's a he's a spawner. I wouldn't have thought a furnace would be spawning enemies, but in this world it makes sense. It's actually it's actually kind of cool. So I have 200 bucks. Let's see how much things cost. 70 for health, 74 plus 3 control. I don't think I need that. Pearl of the Void, your normal attacks have a small chance to summon a black hole. Obviously, I want that. Demoralizing Echo creates an explosion and dealing damage to all enemies when an elite enemy dies. I that's cool, but I'd not I'm not that interested in it. I'm gonna farm for money here. Because I want that first relic. Oh, I killed him somehow. Yeah, gameplay is so smooth, very satisfying. It's just great. Uh, so why is the shop not highlighted? I was definitely there, by the way. Oh, it's been- it means I have been there. Sorry, I thought it was opposite where purple was the ones you visited. Okay, so 
you know what? How much money do I have? 235? I need one more. I'm just gonna do the one that's available. Let's do a quick teleport. Quick teleport. <laughs> Excuse me. Really was a quick teleport. Four enemies, no problem. Oh, missed. Never mind, didn't miss. Nice. Sup, dude? These enemies are too easy. I hope the demo has a little bit more than what we're seeing so far in terms of the enemies that will challenge us here because they're not very challenging. Hello, Angel. Good to see you. You've joined in for a good one today. We are checking out a bunch of new demos. So we're going to go for the treasure chest, obviously. So let's see these black holes. Is that the black hole? No, that was a red gem. Was that the black hole? There's a little bit of like a, a blue spark or something that pops up. That was the black hole. Okay, I just saw it. Oh, all good, all good, Angel. You definitely get to see more on the wide format, don't you? <laughs> That's why I want to do both. Like some people do like it and um, they can quickly scroll through and, and find a bunch of stuff to watch on that format. So we have a treasure chest here. Very, very cool. We have Elysian Ring, plus one air jump, maybe. One max heart, I'd rather have the air jump. Look at that. This guy can fly, baby. Where is the treasure chest? We have one over here. We have to enter it through this particular pathing. Oops, forgot. Honestly, a combat room. Oh, we're dipping into the the red now, by the way. We're dipping into the red control now. So I'm in for it. It hasn't been that hard. So now we have negative three. Hexium curse pocket hole. Negative 25 gold every time you take a hit. Whoa. I get the curses. I'm getting the curses and I'm kind of loving it. I wonder if... So there, there's a scale of like negative one to negative maybe 10 or something on the curse scale. I wonder if like every time I hit negative three, I get this one specifically, or if there's like certain ones that pop up based on where you're at. There are some nodes here. So I wonder if like one, two, three, four is always the same, or if there's like a set of curses here, set of curses here, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm just wondering, but we'll see what as we keep playing. The doppelganger, aha, losing control, you filthy imitator, savor your curse. For the future, I'll make my way staying above zero. In other words, above you. <laughs> I don't think so, dude. I like taking risks. So we're losing a lot of cash. Ooh, losing a lot of cash once you get hit. Oh, crap, traps. Traps always get me, man. I'm so bad at handling traps. Thank God I bought that thing before this guy came out. Don't know what he does. Okay, he's not that hard. Very tanky. Okay, we got some control. We're still at negative two. That's okay though. We can traverse some pre-built rooms. So now I can see why you would even want to go towards a path of a section that has a bunch of pre-built battles. Before I was like, I'm gonna avoid the battles if I don't need to do it. It's less dangerous and I can keep my HP, etc. But you actually have to go through them to get control and not get cursed. So it's very, very interesting the, the way you have to balance those two things. Do I want less fights and take less curse or do I want to get more control but I have to fight through more enemies and possibly get hit, etc. Very, very cool stuff. Here we are at a healing room. Does this heal also control? It doesn't, it's just hearts, which is still good. And we have a fight for a treasure chest. I hate this freaking room. Okay. Clear the room, of course. That's what we've always been doing. Cleared the room. And we have the herbalism book. Your next three spells heal you for one heart. Meh. Heals one heart when building a room that costs five control or more. Shiny hammer, absolutely. So let's build some rooms. We have the boss over here, but we do have a treasure room here. Now the trouble is it's gonna cost at least five control and I only have one control. So we're dipping into the negatives for sure. 
but what can a guy do? There's lots of fighting around it. They're all elite fights, so it's going to be quite the challenge, I think. Item chest now costs one half a heart to be opened. That is a good curse. <laughs> they really got me with that one. Because they know I'm still going to spend it. If I have it. But definitely makes it a lot more risky. This guy is shiny? Why is he shiny? Oh! I thought that was a projectile. My little orb thing that was coming back. Oh my god! Don't lose health. We need it to open treasure chests, dude. The black hole is kind of OP. It sucked in the... Um, it sucked in the candle guy there. So did I heal my one curse? Yeah, it looks like I got some control back. So now I'm only at negative three. Where's the curses being listed? Is this the curse? How do I tell? Where are my curses? Oh, wait a minute. It's still here. Even though we recovered the control, it's still here. I think. Yeah, it is. Hmm. All right, well, still gonna spend it. Took half a heart there. Poisoned Chalice, more damage, but damage received is way more increased. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Radius on your explosions, including spells and effects. So, I have explosions from dashing, I think. I think it's considered a dash, and also my my special attack, my range attack, I think, is doing explosions, maybe? Okay, so let's check it out. Yep, that's, that's increased. Both of those things are increased in terms of size. I love it. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're fighting some elites. They're definitely getting a lot healthier. I don't think I'm ever going to save a penny ever again because I keep getting hit. Oh, those are spike traps under me. Yeah, that makes sense. Four dollars and two hearts. That's all I got. Actually, I have eight dollars. Oh my goodness. Whew. Wasn't expecting a double attack. Ooh. Went from super easy to just dead right away. Okay, let's continue. What happens now? Our butler's here. My lord, if you visit these rooms in the Hexium, you shall have them at your disposal just there. It will sow the seeds of the talent tree, which will bloom very soon. <laughs> I think that's so funny of what you're saying, like, you're not going to see it in this demo, but it will bloom very soon. Or you might mean, like, you'll get it later in the game. I don't know. Either way, very clever. Very clever writing. Hey, Mr. Pilf, Piff. The name of this game is... Sorry, Cryptical Path. Cryptical Path on Steam. Uh, this is a demo of the game. Looks great so far. Got it. it. Certainly piques my curiosity for the near future. So five out of five visited to unlock, unlock, well, treasure room. Not uh, critical, no. Um, cryptical. C R Y P I. Sorry. C R Y P I T I C A L. Cryptical. Cryptical. Yeah, yeah, I think you got it. Do I have to visit these? Okay, whatever. Can I just move on? What else is going on? Mr. Architect, look at all these wonders forged and crafted for you. You must pick them up here first and you'll have a chance to get them in the Hexium. So this is just unlocking stuff so that you can encounter it. Okay, how do I unlock it? So it costs 17, or sorry, I have 17 of these red crystal currencies. So 25% ch chance to heal half a heart when clearing a hostile room. 30% chance to spawn your spell in all directions when an enemy dies. That's kind of cool. <laughs> your spell has 20% chance to transform its target into a bomb. Wow, these items are really cool. I'm hoping they have a lot of interactions and like god mode possibilities where like if you have this trinket, it makes this trinket so much better because they interact together in whatever way. Um, but yeah, this is really cool because if we actually we might see one right here. So explosive fireflies um, makes your enemies explode in your spell in all directions when they die. They have a chance to do that. I wonder if magic trick on top of that would give 20% of each of those spell projectiles to turn into a bomb as well. I'm hoping it does. I, I'm thinking it does. But that's just an example of what I'm hoping will happen in this game. Um, I'm going to take the explosive fireflies first. 
and I hope I do find it. So, whoa, I fell over. Hop it, thou lackest the metal to match me in the quest for achievements, be gone, I say. Okay, not available in the demo. Did I just go? Let's go. So let's check out the map here, everybody. I can make myself a treasure room, it costs six. <laughs> okay, what is this room over here? This is a control room. Contain some control to build your rooms. Okay. I, I'll probably need it, and there's going to be some other rooms here. I'm going to go super greedy and use that new treasure room that I just found to find a trinket immediately. <laughs> you know me. I'm freaking greedy for, for items. Your attacks are now duplicated on the other side with an echo dice. Okay. Total damage every time you build a room, but they now cost more control. Whoa. That's risky. I'm going to take the prism. I think I understand what it does. <gasps> Yo! <laughs> this guy is looking cool as F right now. This guy is freaking dripping. That is so cool. And I love how your attacks stay out when you dash, too. There's just that brief little moment where you can slide in with them. This game is really cool, everybody. If you haven't noticed, I'm absolutely eating it up. I am absolutely- Oh, the bomb you hit into things, then it explodes. Got it. Does like 100 damage too. It's it's a lot. Uh, yeah, I'm eating it up. Oops. I don't need to go down there. Let's continue to build our control. It's at 6 out of- I think I saw I we could go up to 15 or something. We don't need to build yet, so might as well just keep going here. What is this? Oh, it's a fire trap. Got it. I hate this furnace guy. <laughs> uh, I want to play with the bomb. Hopefully it doesn't hurt me. <laughs> can it hurt me? It can't hurt me. Okay, good to know. <laughs> that means I can go wild with it and not be scared of it exploding. Oh, all good, Mr. Piff. No problem, Piff. Glad that you're here at least. And glad that it's entertaining. So that's all control. And we have... I would love to make it to this item room. I guess I can swing by this healing room. We're going to do a double fight room because that's the only thing we know about. So to discover new rooms, you have to build your way to those type of rooms in the regular campaign. And just like visit them. The pre-built versions of those rooms. I like that unlocking method. Of course, the only one that I unlocked was a treasure room, being as greedy as I am. That was easy. I really don't need a heart room yet, so greed time? The, the meter might be at max at 9 here. I don't know how I got 15 before, but I'm not even going to take a chance. I'm just going to build a treasure room with my control since I have so much excess of it. Spicy bread. Total damage when killing an enemy. Resets upon clearing a hospital room. That's cool. Two empty hearts. No. We take the damage upgrade, obviously. There's another chest room above us over here. Or two above us, I should say. Just remember, these enemies actually scale quite well throughout the game. Ooh. So, I definitely want to work on my damage, I think. We got some cool effects last time, but it was just a, just a mismatch of different effects on our dash and stuff, so I'm not sure if that was the best choice. Kind of scared of that guy. Hate these traps. You guys will get to know me if you haven't uh, noticed already. I'm really bad at platforming for some reason. So traps and stuff like that just always get to me. <laughs> Here's the treasure chest. We're at 5 control. That's a decent amount. Shroom's T is here again. Damage, ten, plus 10 weapon damage when on the ground. That's most of the time, so I, I feel like that's going to be worth it. Is that most of the time? Now I don't know. For the candles it is. For these guys, not so much. Oh, what? The? That was 2 seconds, guys. 2 second fight. I can always tell back teleport back to the healing room. Um, I'm going to build a 
double room over here and we can get that treasure chest and by then we can afford to build a small room with three control. I'm just out of control to keep building right now. What is this? Looks like a little mushroom. Double smash. Ooh, whoa. Double smash. That smash attack does not do enough damage. It does way less damage than our neutral attack, which I'm very surprised at. Is this pressure? Pressure plates? It looks like it. I was waiting for it to spawn the spikes and then I could walk over, but it was pressure related after all. So we have Pearl of the Void. Your attacks have a small chance to have that black hole. We had that last time. Plus 100 hex gold each time you open a sacrifice chest. I don't know what that is. Sacrifice chest. Actually, just from the name, I think I know what it is. <laughs> but I haven't seen it yet. And so I am glad I didn't take it. I'm going to build a... Ooh, we can't afford it yet. Never mind, I'm not going to build a room yet. So, 36 damage. How did I do that? Which attack is doing that 36? Whoa, damn. Nice hit. Can I dodge it like this? I can. Oh, what the hell? So those guys have a type of attack where the, you can't dodge it. What's this? All right, never mind. Damn it. Ugh. Missed this complete part down here. We're still not done. There you go. So there was a room down there. But I would prefer to go do my treasure chest. <laughs> nope, 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 wrong one. So we do three. We do three for that, we teleport. Smooth teleport. Nice and quick. Once you learn it, it's... Ooh! Once you learn all of the building mechanics and stuff like that and just understand it really well, it takes like no time to kind of put your thoughts down onto the map and commit to it and then travel around. I really like it. <laughs> well, good to see you again. I think that's a really good sign. If there's any kind of compliment, I think it's, hey, I scrolled off and I'm back. <laughs> I think that's a huge compliment, so thank you. So let's go over here. We got some talking books over here. We got three control, but we're gonna clear this room first for a nice little treasure box. I should have used that bomb. This chest looks small. It's it has just as much stuff in it. Entering a hostile room stuns all enemies for three seconds. Meh. I'll take the air jump. I think the stun seems okay, but I'm not super excited. Oh, this is a sacrifice room. I shouldn't have come here first. Hmm, my favorite room. Let's see if you're willing to sacrifice a few hearts. Just one? I can do just one. I could have got 100 hex coins there. Whoa! Okay, there's a couple of things happening here, everybody. Your first weapon attack generates dice echo that extend its range. Okay, I'll try it. Um, so there's something behind this sacrifice thing. Oh, you can do it up to three times. I thought we were going to leave the room, one blip is lit up, and then the next two will do something different. But I'm wondering if I can come back here if I teleport, get the hearts. It's not too many hearts, it's, it's two of them. You know what? <laughs> Screw it, we're doing it. We're gonna do as many sacrifices as we can. Why didn't I just teleport directly here? I don't know. Two hearts. Better be worth it. I just want to get this to three blips for some reason. Hmm. Str strike chance or critical strike chance with heavy pan is kind of cool, but I think swift tonic is going to be better for us, especially with me. Um, I'm a very chaotic person and I tend to overuse dashes in any game that offers it. So this might keep me a little bit safer. <laughs> Give me a chance to actually use the, dance, uh, the dash properly instead of just spamming it. That was easy. Uh, what am I doing here? We're trying to get more hearts so that I can 
do more sacrifice. I love my additional attacks. Ooh, that was close. We're dropping. I hate fire. You know I hate fire. Almost dove right into the spikes there, by the way. Alright, easy enough. They're still doing the flames? Why? What's down there? Is there anything down there? There's a treasure chest down here. Wait, how do I break this? Probably a, a smash? Nice. Alright, we got half a heart. Very cool. So we're going to go back here. And since I farmed enough, I actually have enough for a treasure room. I'm greedy and that's what I was going for. Love me a treasure. So much treasure. It's, it's feeling great. Enemies hit by your dice return attack trigger an explosion dealing damage to them. Ho oh, ho 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 ho. That is really cool. Yo, we gotta get that. Cause like, if, if an enemy doesn't die from the first hit, he's getting an explosion now. You wanna see some crab champs, Yee Yee? It's, it's gonna have to be later tonight. I, I have this uh, session devoted to trying out new games, sorry. <laughs> crab champs, champions are happening almost every night though. Not at this time slot, usually like late at night. I'm talking about like midnight Eastern time. That's when you'll see me pop in for some crab champions. <laughs> but I might, I might if we have time, I might. But I'm loving this game so far, man. Cryptic paths, really good. I'm crushing it. Everything's dying super quick. So we're gonna move over here. I might have to build up another heart room just so that I can do the sacrifice, but after this I should have almost enough room stuff, I hope. Control, that's what it's called. Okay, so we do have enough to make the sacrifice, but then I'd be left at one hit until death. I don't think that's a good idea. How much does it cost for a healing room? Five? Yikes. Um... Okay, let's build it over here. Jeez, I don't know what to do. That was close. Burst them up. So we are done with this section. We have four thingamajigs. I, ah, damn it. I guess I could build one here, get the treasure. But where would we go from there? Wait, the shop might give us control for money. I don't know. Chocolate Frogger, nice name. <laughs> Very cool. Um, so I, I I want this treasure box. The cheapest room we have is this arena room. Yeah, I'm a I'm a little bit different than anime. <laughs> Somehow I beat anime for your preference for watching right now. That's amazing. Another huge compliment for me. Or that's a huge compliment to me, at least. Thank you. So let's do this room here. Every time like a coin or one of those red stone currencies comes flying towards me, I always think it's an enemy attack. Does this thing fall? I don't think it falls. Oh, it's a trap! <laughs> I'm hanging around thinking I can drop it on the enemies, then it starts shooting fire at me. Of course it does. I shouldn't have trusted anything. I remember you. So the enemies are scaling up now. Damn it. I'm losing all the health I was going to sacrifice. Ooh, that was ugly. I lost a lot of health there. Okay. Give me something good. Give me a bunch of hearts. Enemies explode upon death, dealing damage to nearby enemies. Makes sense. Get hex gold when building a room. You know what? I'm seeing a shop close to us. I think we are going to farm for some coins. Um, does this big room give me double the control? There's more enemies. Oh, I'm stupid. Double dash into the stupid flame. What does this elite version do? He seems easy. Okay. 
I lost too many hearts. So we are still at five. Oh wait, I don't need to waste any control to get over here. I was going to build a path to this room. Not this room, but um, the one below it. Where the hell is everything? What? Wait, how did I teleport here and it's not like complete? I can't open my thing, Hexia map. Oh, I have to open it right here. No, I don't. Weird. How did I get over here? I'm dropping. That was a little bit strange. Maybe I'm just misunderstanding why I had access to that room. There you go. Easy enough. Keep going. Woof. The spikes scare me. The spikes are at least indiscriminate and they will actually hit the enemy too. So now I have eight. So I can build myself a healing room so that I can keep doing the sacrifice room. But it's going to take even more healing because I got hit. So that kind of sucks. Wait, I'm going to be stuck here. So I can't do that. I have to build towards other rooms. Yikes, dude. Let's, let's do a healing room anyway. And then we'll have to do some battles and stuff like that probably before we hit that sacrifice room again. And we're going to have to do them flawlessly. Thanks for dropping that in, Piff. And I hope it's okay I call you Piff. <laughs> Alright. The black hole that I spawned was right on top of the furnace, so every time he spit out a new baby, he was... He was frying up the baby, basically. <laughs> I don't know how to say that without sounding really weird. Oh my god. I'll remind myself not to fight those candles inside a narrow corridor. So we have a elite room here. I'm a little bit scared of it. But what can you do? I gotta go for it. Nice. Can I shoot you down? Oh, the cooldown on our cast is so long. <laughs> the bomb gets sucked in too by the gravity. Oops. Ooh, he's tr ooh, no, hit that. He's pretty tanky that that candle guy. I don't like this guy. I don't like you at all. Is it possible to fight somewhere else? All right, let's We can actually outrange him if he's stopped by that by that ledge right there. That worked out well. So we have a bunch of cash. Let's go into the shop. And we also have enough to build a treasure room, I think. I see what you're trying to do with the hex gold, but it won't be enough to defeat me. I really hope it is. So electric arc is here. Two empty hearts. You know what? I'm going to take the empty hearts. I'm also going to take this thing. And there's actually some healing here. <laughs> I'm greedy. I want the hearts. So we got the hearts. Ugh. We're gonna dip into the negative if I don't keep exploring over here with my room build. And there's a boss fight and I don't want to fight the boss yet. So we're gonna have to attach ourselves like this. Not going to the boss yet, everybody. I set it as a goal to get the last sacrifice um, chest and I'm, I'm gonna get it. Black hole. Kind of scary still. Black hole. The black hole is seriously OP, by the way. But I hope they don't change it, because it's the only way I'm going to beat this game, perhaps. Nice. Okay, so we're opening ourselves into the next thing. Where is it? Down here? Yep. I'm stupid. Five enemies left. Cool. Another one of these dudes. The black hole got him. Ooh. 
traps. Traps. Alright, quickly now, quickly. Yikes. Boss is under us. Where am I even going? I just wanted the control, I guess. Ooh. He got it hit by the spikes. I should get a bonus for hitting him with the spike. <laughs> oh, no problem. See you later. Thanks for joining in. Hope to see you again, Piff. We are definitely not in the same part of the world. That's for sure. Oh, God. Don't get hit with the fire. You need the health. Can he get hit with the fire? It should instantly kill him. He's a candle. Okay, so we have five. We have five room things. I could build a health thing, and then after that, we have to fight the boss, essentially. Should we try it? I'm running out of control here. Maybe I could go buy some. So maybe what happens here? We'll see if we can keep exploring, but I kind of want to see the boss and see if I'm strong enough yet. Because I feel like I'm crushing everything. However, we're about to lose most of our health. Sacrifice three. I'm hoping at three levels, it gives us like a massively rare weapon or something. But it doesn't. It's the same th stuff that we, we would see before. It just gave me sticky fortune, which would have been useful before. Um, poisoned chalice. Should we do it? I guess I'll take the huge risk. I really don't want the other thing. That means I shouldn't fight the boss yet. Where's that shop? I don't think I'm ready for the boss now that we did that. We can grant three control with some money. Cool. Still doesn't give us enough to really go anywhere. No. Oh, wait. There's a room over here. We're going to do it just for the control. Oh, damn. We're killing things quick. Whoa! What was that frame skip? It seemed like something was getting hit with his spikes over and over again. Oh, nice! Okay, so we have four, which actually doesn't even help us. If I had one more, we could do a double brick somewhere. I don't know what to do. I guess we have to fight the boss. <laughs> Let's just do it, man. I'm ready for him. Or am I? Damn it. Can I just re teleport? No? Come on. Let's go. The boss is going to look like. We have to enter it first. Let's do it. The butler is here. The hardest part remains. You'll have to face the Lady Ovenwo. Oh, it's not my girlfriend. I admit I'm curious about her transformation, but indeed it is time for battle. I am scared of Lady Oven. The Lady <laughs> I'm scared of the Lady Oven. Why would I say that? Uh-oh. It's a big oven. My worst enemy. Oh my god. Oof. Okay. Interesting. Interesting fight. I think I'm going to die. The damage is very high to me. Dash right into it. Very cool. Reduced to ashes. Well, Cryptical Path, everybody. I am loving it. I am actually excited to stop it there because that means we're going to have to go back in. I'm committing to at least one win against Lady Ovenwo. And that will happen in the near future for sure. Can't wait to turn this one on again. Let me know what you guys think about the game. Leave a like if you're enjoying the content. And don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the content as well. It would really help out the channel. That is Cryptical Path for now. We'll be back with it again soon. Yes, we will.